It's Youth Intake Day, my friends. We have two brand new players, a striker and a number 10. I just want to let you know now, if you're going to leave a comment on this video, could you, I've got a bit of a migraine, so if you could just do it in lowercase, that'd be great. Let's go and have a look at these new boys. Greetings and salutations, my friend. It's the fun day of the year. We have two new goodies. May I was hoping for maybe three or four. I've gone. I've looked through these. The sort of second string, the top, the top talents. Um, they're not. Uh, but we have two decent players. I don't think. No, I don't think anybody's going to jump in the first team. But they both got a chance of making it. First up, we have a pressing forward, Ferry Van Leyen. Congratulations, sir. Welcome, Mister Ferry. Um, he is a five foot ten, really good heading ability guy that can't jump. So if it if it's head height, he's gonna be fucking deadly. Um, but good aggression, really good work rate. I'm assuming that's why he's being called a pressing forward. He does have low self belief. Perry, you gotta believe in yourself, mate. He, he might be at home now going, yeah, that's actually true, yeah. <laughs> But he could be a very good player. He's only 15 years old. Um, can play as a number 10, but no, not not really. He's got nothing terrible about him. And then we've got Perry Miles, which is actually a really good shout, because a number 10, because we've got Aloni as our backup. This guy's, if we don't get promoted, he's probably good enough for as our backup, but he's like actually pretty good. He's got some really nice mentals. It's fairly, but he arrives late in the opponent. Like a Lampard-esque player. Um, not decent long shots. Uh, but not bad at all. Good press, uh, passing technique. Vision's okay. Work rate again is good, which is important because we're a pressing side. Uh, leadership is well. So, you know, potential captain one day. Good determination, decision making. Uh, a year older-ish, 16 years old. Welcome to the club. As for our performance, we're doing all right. Unfortunately, Western Supermare have gone on a bit of a tear. But it looks like... It's becoming a three-horse race between Western Supermay, Ukraine United, and Truro. There's an eight-point gap over Boreham who still, um, their failure is astonishing. We've done a little bit of business. We've sold Tiffany wet pants. I wasn't planning to, but, you know, when a big bid from Sheffield Wednesday comes in, you you, you got to take it, right? Uh, obviously, the grand isn't really much of a thing but uh, as part of the deal uh, there's a sell-on fee and there's a bit more money if she plays a few more games but also an a range of friendly and a friendly with Sheffield Wednesday yeah I'll, I'll take that um, so unfortunately Tiffany you've gone off but good luck I'm, I'm not sure you're gonna break into the Sheffield Wednesday side it's your, your physicals are awful but you do have a good Mohican um, Brett's gone as well and we've signed, uh, we've got the striker that you saw, who's, uh, he's only played a, free, a few games and he's been absolute dog shit. Um, but we signed Gary O'Neill. This is the big one. I'm paying him max wages, right? To the point where, you know, when you go in and you, they're like, oh, he wants 900 quid. And okay, I can only do 575. So I locked that in and then was like, what do you reckon? And then they asked for a billion other things to make up the difference. And I'm like, yeah, go on then. Because not only is he very good all-rounder, he's also another set-piece taker, good at free kicks, really good at penalties, like, no weaknesses in his game. Like, <clears throat> for us, he's superb. Um, and he's coming and done well so far. There's one slight negative that's uh, going on, is that <clears throat> we are now... In worrying territory, £615,000 in the red now, uh, which is dangerous. And then they haven't added in. The board have not put money into the club. Uh, luckily, there was a few bids for uh, Bridgeburg and Owen Reid. No, not Owen Reid. Um, actually, there was, but he's he's leaving anyway on the end of his transfer. Um, who was it? It was it might have been Gary O'Neill. Um can't remember Matt Roberts one of them one of them but they were like 20 grand offers the big one was 20 grand I think for Bridgeburg and they didn't automatically accept it so that that is fantastic I was expecting them with our debt to just ex accept any old offer um but yeah so not too bad at all didn't feel like I could strengthen anywhere else because 
for what I could afford, there's I, I just can't I can't really improve the side. Um, so today we're just going to play the one game, and it is the quarterfinals, a quarterfinal, everybody, against Southport, who are 22nd in the Vanarama North. It's, we can, could be silverware, could be Europe, I'm pretty sure at this point you get into Europa Conference League if you win the FA Trophy, right? <laughs> but unfortunately, Roscoe is out. They've stopped goal scoring, my centre-backs, but they are still performing admirably. Uh, Mike Smart's going to get a start. Um, McGonagall's scoring a few goals. Back in the goals now, which is fantastic. Crane's playing really well. Giamfi's dropped off form. Do we give the youngster a game? Uh, Colonel must have got his first assist. Um, he actually assisted Falco, who scored a league goal this season. So he keeps his run going. Uh, might be, it's going to be his only one, but that's it. But the rest of the team is playing pretty damn well. We've got Gary O'Neill as our central midfielder. Um, Hurley's dropped down to now to 6.5 key passes a game. He's actually just dog shit now, clearly. But this is actually quite a big game now. This is like an important, you know, we might, and to be fair, it's like six grand for prize money, which is much, much needed at the moment. That's a week's wages. Yes, 2% of the year's wages. Sorted. Uh, <laughs> right, come on, boys. I'd love to get to a final. I think he's on. I think he's on. O'Neill! Get in there! Straight away. Look at that. Instant impact. He's a big game player. He came through the Wolves youth ranks before heading off to Scotland and doing stuff and everything. So, Hurley with another assist. I think McGonagall is now... Two or three goals behind Falco's record, which would be a nice win. O'Neill whips it in. Yeah, definite pen. I think he's on pens as well now as well. I'm going to keep saying as well, as well. It is. Here we go. Calm as you like. Let's go. 2-0, 16 minutes in. Beautiful. The, the the money situation is so bad that I, th I, I kind of feel like we have to get promoted this season. I'm genuinely... Well, I th they were putting money in all the time. I was confident. I was I was pretty confident in the... They were just putting 150 grand in every few months and it was fine. But they haven't done any of that since I started spending more money. Right. This could be... Is this O'Neill? He's looking for a hat trick. Beautiful start, boys. Let's give him a bit of praise. O'Neill fancies it. Oh, my words. Worth every penny. <laughs> what a performance from this guy. 28 minutes in. I know they say a perfect hat trick is a left foot, right foot header. But open play penalty free kick is pretty good as well, I would say. <clears throat> I can't believe we got him. I think if we'd managed to get that striker we were looking at. Oh, he's, oh, instant replay. He's gone the other side. Um, if we managed to get that other that striker guy earlier, I, th I think we could have been deadly. Uh, McGonagall's fine. But I think that would have been the sort of next level. Okay. Go there. Right, twice this season, in the Cups, we have gone 3-0 up and then gone back to 3 all. It's happened twice, which is ridiculous. <laughs> it's not going to happen today. There we go, McGonagall needs to find the pass, does. Roberts into O'Neill. That's an optimistically paced through ball, but cleared up at the back. Mustard into Hurley. Hurley is like Bruno Fernandez, right? Bear with me. Like he's Mr. Creator. He's he's like, oh, I'm the best. I'm the best one here. Look, I can do everything. I can do everything. And then O'Neill is Ronaldo, and he says, "Hang on, I'm the daddy." Go on, McGonagall. Oh my! <sighs> O'Neill's like, I'm taking free kicks and corners now, mate. All right. 
And look at the XG, beautiful. Comfortable win, a, a semi-final on the cards. That was Rest Denim. Uh, let's give O'Neill standing ovation. He gets a rare, a rare 10 rating. Beautiful stuff in the big games. And just see out. Nice clean sheet. Let's go. Perfect game. Outstretched arms. I want to check dynamics. I haven't looked in a while. I, weirdly, no. normally if you're winning games, generally, if you're doing well in the league or cups or whatever, morale is just never really an issue other than individual players. But I had to have a team talk. It suggested to me a team talk like a month ago because morale was a bit low. I'm like, what? You grumpy bastards. Seven and a half grand. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, this guy's had a bit... He's had an interesting career. Oh, Shamrock Grovers. That's what he went to Ireland. That's it. Uh, Wolves, Port Vale, Southport. But look, look, look. Shamrock Rovers. Killing it. Absolutely killing it. <laughs> right. Dynamics. It's good. Come out, sir. Okay, three players that are unhappy. People that just want to leave. But that's them. Randoms, right? They're just randoms. We don't care about those. Okay. Wow, Gianfi is the only team leader. Okay, that I'll take that. I'll take that. One day I hope to get fully supported, but it's a dream. It's a dream. So there we go. A nice update. Two decent youth players, definitely. Um, we just might go into bankruptcy. So that'll be a fun adventure. The board needs to sort of pick their ass. I, I don't know if the board are expecting us. They're seeing if we get promoted or something. And then like sell the club or anything. But this is, we're in a three horse race. Let's bore and would put together a, a massive run of games. I'm sh Where are we on the, I need to, uh, where are we on the wage front? We, we're, we're going up. We are now third highest. Best of Super Mario there. Truro, 145. They're doing really well. Okay. Still a third of Bournemouth somehow, but absolute dog shit. Right, there we go, my friends. Welcome to the club, new guys. Um, If you can improve, the striker can improve a bit quick, then that spot is up for grabs, especially if we get promoted next season. Um, If you want to get... Look, my scouts keep suggesting these two. I've tried to get them both in. Need... I don't know why they're valued so much. Um, I've tried to get him in. But that is not a six, seven million pound player, is it? He's 19. I don't know why they're listening. Yeah. Anyway, right. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you want to donate to the Ukraine, we're trying to get to 5K. I'll stop banging on about it once we get to 5K. But if you want to donate a five or a tenner or whatever it is, um, the link's in the description and we can hit that milestone and then I can give it out. I'm so looking forward to messaging um, the lady that runs the Ukrainian animal shelter on Instagram and just say, hey, you know, I've got, I want to make a donation. What's the best place and stuff? And then to see her face when we give her two and a half grand. That's going to be cool. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.